Quick update while this match is loading. It looks like ZD won over Symphony 2-1, switching over to Roy. Wow, has to go ahead and switch off the Wolf to beat out that D3. That might be a match to watch in the future. But for the present, we have two swordsmen battling it out for supremacy in Hero, piloted by Mage King versus Dusk Sling. He, he thought about it. He, he hovered over that magic burst for a moment. It's like, you know, is this too early to kill? Yeah. And that, that uh, up be out of, or on the ledge, looked like a good ledge trap option for Mage King, but does not catch Dusk. Now, Dusk been off stage for pretty much this whole stock. Good ledge trapping. The down smash actually catches that recovery. So only 7% for Mage King as he looked pretty dominant. It's like you said, he just trapped Dusk at edge and never let him go. Wow, is that going to be it again? What? That's what happens when you don't tech, I guess. Yeah, what a statement here by Mage King. Two stocks and lightning speed. Yeah. Oh, is that a crit? That's so much damage. And so much mental damage, too. Yeah, you know this? Ledge. No! 57 no seconds! Only 27%! What happens? Apparently, we were watching a cutscene, and Hero is one to make us skip it, as Dusk absolutely obliterated game one. I had no idea that fully charged... What is, the, what, what is the Hero's side, side B? B. Yeah. yeah, his fully charged side B hits on ledge, with a ledge hang as low as Lynx. That's crazy. That was outstanding, and you know the Dusk has to be shaking his head right there, as a few of those things would not have happened had not he had a little bit of bad luck. That crit is what set up that last stock. Like, we have to point it out. Yeah, everything just went right for Mage King right there. He got the, uh, he got the, the down smash to get the first stock very early, uh, first stock. Um, he got the Gimp with second stock by Tech, or hitting Dusk off the stage, into like a stage spike and then the third stock well we saw just now the fully charged side b hitting on him hitting him on the ledge yeah that was just absolutely insane gameplay like great character knowledge by mage king i can't blame dusk for for getting hit with that side b i mean who knew that that actually would have hit the ledge with that low ledge hit? Now, just to keep that in mind for this game you can't let that happen again because that that's that's a strong move now he's trying to play a little bit more defensive. Like, we did not see any arrows game one. He just never had the chance. He's got the bomb game plan going already. A couple neutral layers. Just, yeah, I think that he basically said that, listen, that only happened because I let you fight me. I hope you I hope you like look, looking at me dancing around with my boots out because all you're going to get is nair and projectiles. Yeah, that's all we're seeing right now. But Link's projectiles, this is, this is his game right now. Just keeping people at bay with his projectiles. If he has to scrap use some nares and upbees out of shields. Down smash not quite going to connect, but that time tries to get the dash grab in and Mage King ready to respond. Goes for the aggressive forward air off stage. A great response with a down air. This is where are you going? Eat the sword. Yeah, this is so, this is already so much better for Dusk right now. It's like a night and day difference. Just a little bit, not a little bit of change of a play style, but the right change in playstyle, already taking the first stock, only taking 46%. Yeah, Mage hasn't really had an opportunity to actually pull out his uh, his menu, too. It seems like the projectiles are putting on enough pressure from range that he's he's getting the opportunity to pick. Do you want to charge Neutral B? Do you want to go ahead and pull out menu? And if you pull for menu, you better select immediately. I hope you like top deck. Ooh, okay, I thought he was yeah, going to punish out. the downer. Definitely good fade out by Dusk. He's not going to be fast enough. I don't know if he inputted up B out of shield too slow or what happened. Fully charge air, not going to connect. Bomb dropped and just waiting for Mage to try to jump in. Mage gets around that bomb, but not that bleeding for it. Much, much slower compared to the first game. I had definitely a good choice by Dusk. Yeah, this is what I was expecting game one. I was not ready for what happened, or what we saw that first game. Oh, the explosive gameplay by Mage. You weren't ready for the match to be over in less than a minute? <laughs> no, especially with these two characters. Up tilt, not quite going to connect. 
boomerang really close, but that side B, zero side B is secretly one of his best moves. Like a lot of heroes don't typically use it because they, they're all about that venue, but like fade back side B is such a good camp. Mm, and it's so strong, it does so much damage. And hits edge as we now know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a the neutral air. Yeah, that's that's the all three link classic. You fade in with the neutral air, and then you immediately fast follow it, and then double jump neutral air. There's actually little to no response unless you have an invulnerable up that you can do. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, bomb juggling that Dust is doing. Not getting too much off of it, but it's it's pretty amusing to see. This is kind of the problem position for uh, for big link is that once they're at like 160. Younger Link and Toon Link can both still play with projectiles and get kills because they actually have like full screen setups with, with arrows. But he kind of has to go in. He has to get like a straight neutral air like that. Like if Mage just continued to play defensive, Dusk would have had to have been the aggressor right there. Mm -hmm. Well, Link also does have a kill throw in the form of up throw. True, but he's so slow that when he runs in, you know what he's going for. Oh, the snooze and gets a crit. I feel yeah. like this man's Dust a hero, man. <laughs> For sure. I feel like Dust should have gone off stage with uh, after getting snooze because you recover faster if you're in the air, and it would have it would have set Dusk up for getting forward smash like that. Really? So when you're on the ground, you actually have a longer recovery than when you're. Oh no! Did that Take crit? It. Oh my! I feel so bad for Dusk right now because he is getting put in not one, but two Twitch clips right there. Again, a response by Mage perfectly spacing that forward smash to kill a heavy character like Link at 80. Yeah, Mage King rolling the dice and just getting, like, just getting everything he needed right there.